Okay, so today I'm taking a look at an air fryer. Check out a couple of images that give you some details and then we'll talk a little bit more about it and see how well it does in cooking. All right, so I'm taking a look at this air fryer. So I'm going to leave a link below to another video for another air fryer that I did somewhat recently. They're almost the exact same air fryer. So this one right here, if you look, you can see they pretty much look identical. There's only a slight variation. This one is a little bit taller because of what it looks like a redesign on the actual door. This is the box that it comes in, so it actually looks really nice as far as the packaging. It's very well protected, no damage. 7.4 quart or 7 liter. It's very large uh, compared to some of the other offerings, so it does a really good job in cooking a pretty good amount of food at one time. So the only difference on the top here is some printing that is not on the top of this unit. Otherwise, there is a hole at the top. There's a vent at the back. Power cord, of course, comes off of the back side here. Other than that, there are some pre-programmed options available. We'll take a look at that here in a second. It will beep when it's finished. If you pull the door out, it will stop. And then when you put it back in, it can continue. That's going to allow you to flip the food, which is definitely something that you're going to want to do uh, halfway through the process to get uh, a crispier, uh, crunchier type effect on the food. Have it more thoroughly cooked and everything. But I really do like, well, this cooker and this one, like I said, they're, again, they're identical. So the big difference is when you pull the door out or the tray out, on this one, there's a small piece right here that you grab and you pull out, and there's four rubber tips around it. And this is a situation where you don't know what you don't know. I thought this was really nice, and I still like this. I have no real big problems with this, and I had no problems during the initial review or since that time and I've cooked quite a few things in this it works great for fries, chicken, fish sticks, steaks, uh, bread, hot dogs, I mean just an assortment of different food items that you would you know potentially want to cook in this to give that nice crispy uh, sort of fried effect without all the extra oil. Uh, it is smart to use a little bit of oil to like spray just to keep the food from sticking even though it is a non-stick surface that applies to both and uh, that's going to help a little bit as far as I think taste but also uh, just a little bit on keeping it easier to clean so this one has four little rubber pieces around the outside that keep it from scratching the interior so when you slide it down in if you're not careful those pop off it's not a big deal and I didn't know that there was a better option until now and that's why I'm taking a look at this because this I think offers a much better option so I'll show you that in just a second, but right quick, you get a thank you card, it has support information, you have a user guide, so it gives you all of the information and instructions that you might need, and a small recipe book, well, not small, small, but relatively small recipe book compared to some of the thick ones, uh, they give you some ideas of things you might want to make, or just kind of some starts. Uh, starting uh, food you might want and then if you want to look at the different temperatures and settings and such you've got the user manual that's really nice but overall make sure that you keep the uh, back clear because there is a vent right here that needs to be able to exhaust out and it has the ability to be lifted very easily there's recessed areas on the bottom so your hands fit right into it so when you're moving this it's actually kind of perfect for that rubber feet on the bottom, you're not going to scratch or damage anything on the front. Got this touch screen, you've got your temperature and your time, you can make adjustments, you've also got uh, preheat options, and then you have all these different uh, presets. So if you're cooking chicken, you just hit the chicken button, steak, hit the steak button or beef button, you know, that type of thing. Super easy to work with, 
you have a, a start stop or a play pause button is what it actually is but it's kind of a start stop option the only thing this is missing well both of these are missing again they're identical in everything except for the door and the only thing they're really missing is a reminder to flip the food some of them have the option where they'll cook halfway and remind you to flip the food with this one and that one you just do that on your own so here's the big deal that I actually am going to be using this one all the time now and if this one ever dies of course I'll resort back to that one but when you pull this door out you've got the door right there you've got this clear tab and if you slide it forward there's a button right there if you push down on that button this entire thing lifts out and it is it does have holes on the sides that's going to allow the air to flow through the actual area better you've got the open you know bottom there so it's also going to allow the air to flow and circulate better so but yeah non-stick but again a little bit of oil goes a long ways you can pretty much clean this up with a, a soapy paper towel or a well not too aggressively uh, abrasive brush if you needed to but uh, yeah this is so much more convenient than pulling that part in and out so really really impressed with the redesign because it makes it very easy to work with in comparison okay and you hear the beep so when it finishes it's going to beep like that when you're done uh, or close to the end like one minute it kind of beeps and lets you know and then it runs a cool down period so you can actually uh, you know allow the fan to circulate kind of finish up everything uh, just wipe down the outside to clean it uh, with a damp paper towel, no abrasive cleaners or anything. Of course, the surface is going to be hot. There's a sticker right there, that, you know, denotes that. And on the inside, same thing applies. Pull the door out, wipe down the inside periodically with paper towel. Keeps any of the oils and grease and things from the foods that get spun, uh, you know, the micro droplets or what have you, uh, inside the container. Uh, keeps that fan area clean and everything. So you may have. To, it's got a nice flat bottom. So the good thing is, unplug. You can flip this upside down. And then you can get in there and you can really clean it, you know, really well if you need to, if for some reason you make a mess. And because of the large size, you can cook a large amount of food and even some of the larger items like, like a chicken or uh, Cornish hen, Cornish hen. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, um, let's throw some chicken in here and kind of see what it does, how well it cooks. And then I'm going to go ahead and have some lunch. Okay, so one other thing I forgot to mention, this does come with tongs and they just work really well easy to clean they're also very soft they're not going to scratch or damage and uh, you can throw them in the dishwasher hand wash them but that silicone coating is good for high temp and it's also good for ease of, ease of cleaning and uh, when you're using it you can one handed just push that and pull it when you're done so comes with that that's nice the other did not include that so I've got well I don't know where you can see it you don't want to So I've got some chicken ready to go. Close that up. And I am going to push the chicken button. So 400, 20 minutes, start. And I'm going to allow that to cook. So as you can hear, it's not very loud. It's also not going to heat your entire kitchen up. So that's really nice and for the most part it's going to be easier to clean potentially depending on what you're cooking so yeah all in all it's really good so I'm going to flip this at the 10 minute mark and then we'll come back and take a look at what the chicken look like you know looks like when it's finished all right so pretty much the halfway point flip this over Just so you can see, we're starting to get some of that nice brown, crunchy, crispy exterior that we're looking for. So we'll go ahead and resume back where we started from. And this can go from 360 to 400, so you have a wide range of things you can cook in this. And if you take like a, a 
oven safe type of a ramekin or bowl of some sort. You could actually do a little bit more with cakes and uh, cupcakes or cook, you know, cookies, of course. But you know, things that you could put into a bowl that you might want to cook. You could reheat things um, like pizza and things like that. Keep them crispy instead of getting the soggy or the chewiness that you would get from a microwave. So that's a really nice option as well. So we're going to let this go ahead and take down again and. When it gets near the end, I may throw a little barbecue sauce on it. I may wait until after, but I'll show you what the end result looks like. All right, so at the very tail end right now, one minute to go, just about ready. So it's not very loud when it beeps, but it's loud enough you can hear it without being too annoying. I'm going to double check the temperature. You can definitely hear the juices and the little pops and sizzles and stuff going on. that sizzling. Now these are boneless thighs and I went ahead and just used the drumstick drumstick excuse me option because you can always adjust the time and everything but nice and golden brown they've got a little bit of that crunchy outer layer and they're still really soft tender there you go cooked really nicely again very juicy and uh, yeah so time for some lunch throw some barbecue sauce on this hopefully that is helpful gives you an idea of what to expect you can cook a lot of things with this should be pretty easy to clean up for most anyone uh, once it's cooled down again just wipe it down with the paper towel that's soapy or if you have anything stuck use a, a brush but don't get too aggressive just to help uh, keep the actual unit you know living for a longer time as far as the finish goes you can throw it in the dishwasher but keep in mind that's going to uh, potentially wear down quicker the actual uh, anti-stick or non-stick coating that is built into just about any cookware so anyway that's it if you want to find out more about this you can check out the link below you can check out the other video maybe get some other information from that one that i didn't cover because essentially they're the same but Anything else, the link below should give you a lot of information on the listing. Thanks for watching.